Hi, it's Starting Out with Wayland Recipes, and I'm going to try and cook up some black bean burgers from Frozen in the New Wave Primo grill oven. So we're going to check out black bean burgers right now. All right, so here we have the star of the show. These are Morningstar Farms Veggie Burgers Chipotle Black Bean, America's number one veggie burger brand. So these are, uh, they're declaring the best in America, so giving you the best in America here. And so going to get this open. And here are the black bean burgers. They are pretty dark. So I'm gonna get a couple out and put them on the grill plate of the New Wave Primo grill oven. The veggie burgers, they look pretty nice. They do look pretty nice. So I'm going to put the lid on the New Way Primo here. So you're supposed to cook these up on the grill until the temperature is 165 degrees. So this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to get the New Way Primo grill oven on. I'm going to leave it at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to adjust the cooking time down to 11 minutes. I'm going to see how this works out. So I'm going to hit start. And I'll bring you back, but for now you can watch the time lapse. All right, we're coming into the final 10 seconds of 11 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit on these black bean veggie burgers. So I'm going to hit the off button there, stop any excess of beeping. We're going to get right in with our thermopen to check temperature, see how hot things have gotten. They're in the 150s. It's like they're, they're close. They're very close. So we're not there yet. We uh, probably need a couple more minutes, but just flipping the check, uh, not really a sear type of a impression there. But I'm gonna put the lid back on and turn it back on, leave it at 360. I'll just give them a few more minutes on the opposite side. So we'll give them like 14 minutes total. But I'll bring you on back. All right, we're into the last 30 seconds. And the reason I definitely wanted to flip these is because I was starting to smell burnt in the end of that uh, first 11 minutes. It was starting to smell burnt and so I definitely wanted to flip them so that the side that was on the uh, grill grate wasn't going to get, you know, overburned or anything. So definitely after about 11 minutes, give them a flip and then you can just give them a few more like I've done here. And we'll check this tip now and just turn things off. So. Let's get the lid off of here. We'll check our temperature once again, just for the sake of knowledge and safety. And yes, we are we are good and hot. All right, I've got myself some Haverty cheese here. Just going to throw it on top. I'm not a vegan, so quite obviously. Throwing that on top of there. And just going to let things set for a moment just to let the cheese melt on there a little bit. All right, the cheese is starting to render down a little bit. I'm going to get that lid off of here. I'm going to get my first patty onto my homemade bread here. And I've got myself some guacamole. So I'm going to put a little guacamole between the two patties. So I'm just going to put some on top of the cheese here. That looks good. Now I'm going to get my other black bean, whoops, almost, almost let them go. My other black bean burger pad. Set it down there. Put some more of that guacamole goodness on there. So, that looks pretty nice and decent to me. Alright, that looks like a winner. Alright, so I'm going to get the camera moved and we'll do a taste test of these black bean burgers. 
All right, so here's our black bean burger with some guacamole and cheese on the homemade bread. Let's try taste. Okay, so the taste. It tastes like seasoned up black beans with guacamole and cheese. <laughs> I mean, that's really how it tastes. It tastes like black beans that have been seasoned up uh, pretty good. So like some pretty good seasoned up black beans. That's how black bean burger tastes. So uh, no deceptive uh, stuff put in there to try and make it taste like meat or taste like, you know, cow beef or anything. It's just straight up black bean burger, well seasoned. It tastes good. And you know the guacamole and the cheese put a nice touch on there, so it turned out pretty nice. Uh, you know, as far as black bean burgers, I might you know continue trying them. You know, I'm I'm more of a beef person, but the black bean burger is cool. I you know I've tried the Beyond burgers and stuff that try and fake like their beef, and you know it's just kind of like, what's the point? So you know black bean burgers, you know, pretty cool. You know, nice type of burger. You know, I like salmon burgers. I like chicken burgers, you know, all different types of burgers. So I might just throw the black bean burgers in the rotation of my various types of burgers that I enjoy all the time. But definitely looking forward to your comments. And you can find this other recipes, heating instructions at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. Twitter and Instagram also waveovenrecipes. The referral links in the description box for this cooker and others you pay the same price, but you help this channel. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.